Today, in my life in prison story, we have Willis, aka Danny's Teachers, a DJ by profession who was imprisoned for 21 years. Kwa majina, naituwa Willis, lakili le jina najulikana zaidi, naituwa Danny's Teachers. I'm a DJ by profession. Nimesaliwa madhare, nimesomea madhare, nimelelewa pale. Nimeanzia kusoma katika eh, my primary school, nimesomea katika shule la jita, Madhari Old Primary School which is opposite na Madhari Mental Hospital. High school nimeenda Isili High School. So nimekaa pale tu Madhari hapo ndio kila kitu kimefanyika. And how did you end up in jail? Nilikuwa nafanya kazi. Mimi DJ nilikuwa nafanya kazi na club na jita ama sound na jita King Lawn Sounds. Nilikuwa nacheza hapo town Accra club moja inakuwa jita Achievers. So by that time I was in club playing reggae music. Pin DJ wa reggae. Niko acheza reggae. Na you know in club we entertain everybody. Everybody comes there. In respect of where you coming from, we just entertain you. So katika ile hali ya kucheza mziki, jamaa akakuja, mtu alikuwa amekuja na sasa nimepiga pombe, nimepiga maji nimelewa. Vijana wana come. Niaje? Niaje DJ nishike jako. Ah, nikachukua ile jako, nikaeka pale, mimi naenda tu kucheza mziki yangu. I entertain people. So, in the morning time po fika wakati wa kutoka, siya sulajua meva ile jago za libaridi sana wakati wa wacha niyeli juu, ame, 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 ame ondokea. So, miku tembea pala, ana jaya tembea some 40 to 50 meters, mzee flani haka toka. Haka sema, this jacket is mine. Hii jago minima na ni wabu ni bia mbulukua wengi. Haka sema, what? Hii jago na haka anda kutishika, saa ikabidi mini anda kutoroka. Kutoroka hapo, Raya kanivamia, mtani tunaita kirende. They started beating me, wakaanda kunipiga makume mwenyeni, mawe, wala nipiga. Kila mahali. Nkashino, what's, what's wrong? Bati mzuri kulikuwa na lori ya city council hapo, nikaweka kwa lori, nikajipata kamkunji. After five days, siku wala jua niko wapi. Ndiyo nilipo wa muka, mwili yote mefura, lina, lini. Watu wangu wajui niko wapi. They just came to know the fifth day ni kipeleko wa kotini. So ni kipeleko wa kotini, kuenda pale ni nasomewa kitu na hituwa pli. Mashitake ya naanza kusomwa. Nasemekana, mnamo tare fulani na fulani, ulipatikana, mulibia, mzee fulani na fulani. Kwa sahi ni marehemu. Mzee fulani na fulani, na ukapatikana jako yake. Ni kanza kuongea, mika sema sijui na lina ni, na hii kitu, ukumi yake, ni kifo. I almost fainted on the dock. Mini kaigia jela the first days jaya ingia maani. Saa kurudi kotini ni after 14 days. Ndi hapo utakuja kusikia, utahaza cases kugani. That was a plea. Ujue hile kitu. Saa ilipofika huko, remand. Sasa unahaza, unahuliza watu, kunaenda na mlagali, mimi siju kunaenda. Ugali ya jela ilikuwa ni sijai. Ugali, ugali, chakula ya jela ni hile chakula hato kipatia mbua. Itakufa sa hiyo hiyo. Hizi mbua zetu za mtaani. But people eat, hiyo chakula na inawasustain baka sa hiyo. So you can imagine by that time, it was early 2000. Ndiyo nimeshikwa. He continues by telling us how he was found guilty and convicted. Mimi sijakaa jela sana. Nimekaa only 21 years. Only. Nilikuja tu last year. Mafuja ata Kenya sijajua poa. I'm just being directed here and there. Sasa niliporudishwa kotini kwenda kufanya kesi. Unaambia ukikubali, watu wakaniambia usiende kukubali afadhali ufanye kesi, maana utanyongwa. Sasa nikakuwa na wasiwasi. Ndaenda kusema nini? Lakini sasa huku kuna maloya pia wanajificha, unafikiria yeye useme namna hiyo, nikaenda koti. Kwenda koti unaambia utafanya kesi. Si tunaanza kesi sasa na jamaa. Judge aliambia only one thing. Ikifika mahali pa defense. Sasa wewe Toa hii jacket, weka chini, and go home. Utatua na mnagani. Manake complainer came there, akasema, akatua alama za jako yake, hii alama kwa hivi, 
he proved everything. But mimi siwezi proof to yote maana kesi yangu. Ile time ya kusema nilipata hizo na nani hakuna. Amesema ni mimi mlikuwa na visu, mlikuwa na buduki, mlikuwa na nini? Of which sijaishika. Mimi sijawahi ibia mtu hata. Sijawahi bata sukari. I've never had a pickpocket sijawahi. Kesi na imefika ya Robert. Ikakuwa mimi siwezi siwezi toa ile jacket niweke chini. Ndajiko akasema sasa the case imekishika the only sentence of this is death penalty. Mimi nilikuwa kumwa kifo. Nikatolewa kasa sasa kaile kaile life ya remand nikapeleka katika life ya mfungwa sasa. He tells us that life for him in prison was miserable. Wakati wa huko sasa unajua ilikuwa na wakati wa moi. Jela ilikuwa so cruel. Prison warders walikuwa very rude. Hakuna mambo kama ni kunguru, kunguru unapata unaweza pachua ya juu. Kama mimi nilipewa shati imeraruka, kinyasa hakuna. Haungeweza kuvaa hata underwear. Hata hata chief kama hii ilikuwa ni crime we kukuwa nayo. Mimi nakwambia maisha ilikuwa ni ngumu for 24 hours in 24 hours in 24 hours you only get out for 30 minutes kwenda kuota jua 30 minutes that is 15 minutes in the morning 15 minutes in the afternoon and that's it na inaanza kuhesabiwa mlango fulo ukienda nimeingia jela wakati mtu hawezi vaa hata pati pati nimeingia jela wakati unalalia smiti na hakuna brangeti ukipata brangeti ni just a piece of a piece of blanket alafu jela ina baridi i've seen people die nimetembea jela karibu zote za jela hii jela kubwa i've gone to kamiti i've gone to shimo la tewa in mombasa i've gone to manyani i've gone to nyeri kingongo i've gone to nakuru i've gone to kericho I've gone to Kisumu Kodiaga. I've gone to Kibos. Just rotating. The laws of jela dictate that hawezi kukaa mahali miaka 20. Malaki kichwa yako anasema utafikia mambo mabaya na unaanza toroka au fanya kitu mbaya. So ukipelekwa jela fulani network kinapotea. And the network get lost. Unapotea unapotea hata watu wako. Sasa mimi niko Mombasa sijaenda hata Mombasa tangu niliniwe. Lakini jela nimepelekwa na jela Mombasa. Mtu wangu na Robert atakuja saa ngapi? That's how unapoteza touch na familia. So mpaka unapata kuona nimekaa more than 20 years lakini kuna mtu wa familia yangu ajaye kuja atakuniona. Because anashindwa niko wapi. So nimelala jela kuna wakati mmoja. Jela rungu ni kawaida. Rungu kupigwa mfungo wa kupigwa rungu hiyo ni chakula ugonjwa niliingia jela wakati hauwezi enda hospitali maana yake kwa condemn umepigwa chain chain pingu umefungiwa nyororo hivi askari yako wild na wewe ukienda kuonana pale unatembea mgutupu alakuvuta namna hii ukiongea na mtu pale dakika unaongea one, one minute mtu hawezi kuona tena unadhani mtu atarudi hawezi rudi chakula ilikuwa kidogo Maragwe unaweza pata I counted Maragwe for ile miaka nimekuwa condemn I petition Maragwe moja moja 15 kama moja kama moja kama moja kama moja hivi Ikitoa hivi 15 ugali unafanya unaweza fanya namna hii hata ifike kwa tumbo na nalala namna hiyo We used to eat one meal a day I've spent nishaika siku tano bila kukula 5 days consecutively bila kukula wakati huo jela tulikuwa tunafikula pika na kitu inaitwa boiler boiler inaweka mafuta ya ta, mafuta ndio la guruma alafu maji inapotea mafuta hakuna anaweza kumbuka serikali ya moyo nyakati hiyo sasa five days chakula hakuna jela watu wanaanguka ule ambaye ajiwezi sasa wengine wanakufa kama ulikuwa mgonjwa hivyo tu unakuja kupata chakula the sixth day Unapata mfungo anakula chakula ugali. Ushaona mfungo anakula ugali na maragwe, uji, maji mpaka anakufa. 
mwingine amekufa amekosa chakula lakini mwingine amekuja amepata chakula the physics day anakula baka anakufa na kukufa jela jela hiyo ni kawaida mimi have seen people die when that at one day i was sleeping with somebody kidogo tu siku pale kwa la bracket kidogo ambao mwenyewe jifunika inafika mpaka hapa sasa usiku pale ndio kuna baridi lakini unasikia unusual cold unusual cold ndio iko pale mtu akuzaguza eh kidogo kumbe mtu amekauka kukauka ikabidi mimi nimpige kumbe hivi kidogo akaenda pande nyingine nikajifunika poa alafu najua hakuna stima hakuna ni mali kwa cell a dark cell na hakuna stima pale those days ha kwa kuangalia mtu vizuri asubuhi imefika kumbe mtu alikufa sasa inafika hesabu inakuja jela hawezi sema mtu amekufa in prison you say mtu amelala maana kwa kisema mtu amekufa utasema wewe ndio umemua jela mtu akufagi jela mtu inasemekanaga ameshindwa kutoboa kifungo sasa inakuja pale aya ni ngapi nane lakini mmoja amelala askari wanajua ile nini inaendelea wewe ameshindwa kutoboa kifungo sasa ushaona mtu amekufa na furai sio kama huko mtu akikufa mnasikia uzuri amekufa na furai anasema eh hey, Asante Mungu leo na shiba. Anakuja pale chakula simeingiwa kama ni chakula watu nane inaingia la bururu yake inakula kila mtu wa bururu. Unamwekea hapo uone kama ataamka kukula. Kusipona amka kukula la bururu anataka kutoka napiganisha kwa ile yangu juu mimi kwa lalala na yeye napiganisha ile yangu siku hiyo na shiba. Kama alikuwa anakula maragwe 15 na yake hii 15 inakuwa 30 na ugali mbili siku hiyo nimeshiba. Nasema Mungu asante. Jamaa amefanya poa sana kule kudedi nimekala mtu hapo 2 days tumekaa tu hapo tumekaa watu wengi lakini sasa unajua na lala naye 2 days sasa anakuwa ni kama arufi na kaka inaanza kuwa ingine the, the, the second day jioni itakuja kutolewa na ilikufa siku gani siku yake kutolewa mtu mwingine akawa fixed pale so hiyo ndio ilikuwa wakati wa jela juu unatoka kuota pale unakuja unalala kwa simiti mimi najua kunyoa mpaka na askari anakuja pale anakuambia sitaki kuona nywele na haja kupatia mashini haja kupatia wembe ya kunyoa lakini kesho hata kuona unaona bulb ili mzee hiyo bulb ni kwa kujua unanyoa najua anaweza kunyoa na bulb kio nywele yako ikuwe kama hiyo na the way it's shining that's how you tunajua hizo vitu me to main vet toka huko jela ni mahali mtu akienda kama una akili a positive uh, mindset watu wana wanaharibika sana from afar you can feel the pain in his voice knowing that he was innocent but in prison and he tells us that more than half of the people in prison are innocent too and i want to tell you 70% of those people who are in prison 70% i repeat that are innocent mwingine amechukua simu ya mtu tu Mwingine amevaa sijui kitu yote ameshikwa huko. Mwingine ameshika msichana mdogo, mwingine alikuwa rafiki na msichana wake, ni rafiki yake. Anapeleka huko at defilement na anafungwa maisha. Sasa bidi mmgoe kodi mpaka inafika wakati wa 2008 I think you saw on TV what happened in 2008 wale vile kamiti watu walikuja wakapigwa kamiti walikuja wakapigwa sana ati walikuwa nafanya sijui nila masimu so askari wote walikuja wakaitwa tukapigwa sana pale wengine wakavujika miguu wengine wakakufa hivyo hivyo i was the in charge ama mkiongozi wa hiyo block wakati huo nilipigwa sana very very bad his wife left him when she realized that there was no hope left to see him again he tried to commit suicide several times Jela ni ile wakati nilikuwa nilikuwa na msichana. Nilikuwa naye kwa nyumba. Let's call him by Asiko alo mali tu officially but let's call her my wife. So alipokuja kuniona one day akaambia huyu bwana wako amekuwa wazimu na huyu bwana wako tunamnyonga kesho. Alipokuja kuniona hivyo akasema hizo ndio nguo za kunyongwa and that's how she went. Siku muona tena nikakaa jela nikazunguka jela zinaenda so ikafika wakati ule 
ikakuwa sasa tulikuwa ilikuwa tunyongwe maana yake tulikuwa tumekuwa tumekuwa monotonous usheka mahali mpaka unasema ah kiishe kiishe ilifika wakati roho yangu ilikuwa imekuwa mzito sana i tried to commit suicide second uh, uh, mara mara bin watu wamelala so zile brangeti mzee utajaribu kwa sua kidogo alafu unatengeneza ili them then unaweka kwa dirisha dirisha iko mbali huko lakini utakanyaga tu kitu kidogo alafu nikatinyonga maana ilikuwa wala sasa hii shida mimi naenda nao wapi nimejinyonga mpaka ilikuwa na hii mambo ya kujinyonga ni nguvu hata watu wanakupala ni nguvu hata watu wanashidoka wanakuoka na nguvu namna gani kajinyonga nikaanza kwa afrika ni mtaka hivi watu wakaamka kashindwa nini naendelea sije dini mpaka nimfuta pale juu sasa wafungo wenzangu wakaanza kunipiga lile lile sasa wafungo wanalipiga kwa nani pigo wakalifunga mpaka ma hizo na blageti nina nini wanda kujinoga wakapiga blango askari wanakuja na unajua jela ifunguliwa kwa siku ati wa fire nini hata kujinyonga eh kifunguli funguliwa usiku askari wametoka mpaka wale walikuwa wamelala raia wameletwa maana yake kondema anataka kujua nitachukuliwa nipelekwe kwa cell tofauti another room black room pale kwa room tamwagiliwa maji maji ndo kama salasini alafu ni wacho hapo unakaa hapo 3 days ndio akili kwanza ifunguke ukakaa pale ngapaa pale alafu chakula upewi mapewa nusu ukakaa pale ukishachemuka kidogo mara yako umechemka umekaa juu maji na kutuliza ndio radisho na anaweza kuonge akuko na mtu wa kuongelesha by the way uko kuongelesha at counseling that is no counseling in prison during those days the only counseling that was in prison ni kupigwa rungu rungu inatosha mfungwa na kula kupelekwa hospitali hospitali ilikuwa ni hiyo smiti unakuja tu pale wewe kishalalea smiti siku 2 3 umepo na watu wanaenda so hata wafungwa hao wanakuja huku their bodies are weak so tukakaa pale mateso ni mengi sana ndani huko kakaa pale and when were you released from prison reforms zilizoanza kuingia sasa mara kadhaa reforms zilianza kuingia na kuna mzee mmoja anataka kumshukuru sana the deputy alikuwa vice president by that time tunamuita anko mudi ya wori nataka kushukuru mzee sana mahali popote ya yuko tumshukuru he brought reforms that ya prison hapo ndio siku nilianza kuona kumbe kuna kuwaga na kitu inaitwa sukari kwa uji na tunakuwaga na kitu naitwa mafuta kwa chakula. Ile mafuta alikuwa anajua mfungo alikuwa anakula ugali, mafuta inakuwa kidogo, alafu mafuta ya taa inaongezwa. Shia kula mafuta ya taa. That is. Na mama wangu alikuwa hapo kimacho nguvu na askari anataka kujua. Na utakula hiyo chakula. Jela sio lazima ukule. Na ni lazima ukule. What do I mean? I mukiaribu hiyo chakula mnaweza kosa lakini kama chakula imekuja hata kama ni mbaya namna gani you have to eat it usipokula utaikula na rungu maana yake ration yako imesaidiwa na rais sasa reform tukaanza kukuja ukakuwa na watu kwenda kuanza shule tukakuwa na watu kuanza kwenda industries so when i was in condem i decided to write a book i've written two books i wrote a book one nilipoandika but right zikakuja baada kumaliza before you publish zikakuja zika askari wataka kujua zikapotelea pale nikaenda na ivasha i wrote another one kwenda pale pia mambo kama hayo nikakuja zikaisha nikasema is not in book maana yake vita ikishakuja tero ikishaka ile kula kitu inaitwa tero ikishakuja wanachukua marufuku yote na kila kitu So hapo ndio naona hiyo ikapotelea pale but still the, it is in my mind. Hawajamaliza. So baada pale another person pia tuna tunaweza hata kushukuru wakati tulikuwa sasa tunataka kwenda kujoka tulikuwa karibu wa wafungwa 1400. Tunataka kwenda kukumiwa. But nataka kushukuru the late president Mwai Kibaki. And by that time kulikuwa na coalition government with the right honorable Raila Odinga. Those two old men lazima tuwashukuru. Manaka school kulikuwa na ile handshake ya kwanza. Hapo ndio Manaka we wrote a letter 
kwa hao watu wawili hao wazee wawili tukaandika barua ikafika so ilikuwa barua ilipokubaliwa mjezimu wa karini mjezimu wa litavini tukatolewa hukumu ya kifo ikakuwa bado na hukumu ya maisha sasa hapo ndio kifunge kaanza fresh hapo ndio kifungo sasa kaanza fresh manake sasa hukumu ya maisha ni unazunguka jela kama kain kain unajua kaanza kuzunguka ulimwengu sasa hapo ndio natoka kamiti uende hivi na hivi na hivi so tukaingia kwa mambo ya industries kwenda kufanya kazi nikashukuru kaenda nimefanya kazi ya apostry ya kutengeneza viti kuweka nini kwa viti eh, eh, raba form na kuwa sofa za vizuri nimeenda pale have the grades tumeenda shule nimefanya mambo ya shule vizuri nimeenda tumefanya mambo ya theology kanisa tumefanya vizuri na all the certificate the, uh, the uh, rehabilitation programs tumezifanya vizuri sana pale sasa ilipofika last year tukaa the social manake story ya jela ni mingi sana story ya jela ni mingi tukakuja na kitu inaitwa resentencing ambayo inaletwa na the former chief justice maranga resentencing that means umekaa jela muda gani recommendation yako iko namna gani sasa wewe kazi ni kwenda kukubali tu kama umeka more than 10 15 years 20 years na na na, na program recommendation jela ime approve unaachiliwa so nilipoenda pale mbele ya judge the, the, the last year nikatoa certificate zangu zote pale nikamwelekea nimekaa hapa judge mwenyewe akasema wewe uliingia jela ndikuwa niko primary that the majis malaki umetolewa sikifuko mimi nisha exhaust pili zote sasa unangoja tu kunyongo ofisi kuongea president mbaya aseme tu watu wa nyongo mimi ningekuwa nimenyongwa tayari so tukarudisha pale law court inaitwa sentencing of which letter of justice maranga na ikasaidia wafungwa kupelekwa pale nikakubali nikasema jela can comment judge akasema na mdomo wake ingelikuwa mimi niko wakati ule hii si kesi ya kufikisha hapa si kesi ya kufikisha ningekuachilia nilikuwa primary lakini sasa enda nyumbani i feel like as if nilikuwa nimezaliwa tena nimezaliwa tena mimi nikaachiliwa last year he advises us to avoid crime and also to not forcefully accuse people for over 70% of the people in prison are not guilty jela nikawacha watu na kuna kitu vitu mbili ambavyo zinaweka watu jela kuna moja inaitwa defilement defilement means wewe umepatikana na mtoto under age ukipatikana umeweka mtoto ana kama miaka 4 miaka 4 eh, to 9 that is life imprisonment that's me defile na hapo ndio unapata kuona wanawake wengi ndio usikie watu wako huko jela hata wazee wana wa, 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 wanawakelea huko wanawake wengi mzee mwanamke pengine wame wame uh, wame wamesikizana wame, wame, wame mtoto wake wanyang'anya mzee shamba sasa mtoto mdogo anakuja mwanamke ataingiza tu kitu kidogo kidole pale na, na defilement na ikienda kuangaliwa inaangalia tu mambo mbili there was a penetration na evidence ya daktari period sasa wana, wanawake wanageuzia wazee mzee anaenda laumia huko jela ati amedefile mtoto anafungwa maisha kama ni kale kashamba ama ile gari ulikuwa nayo mwanamke anauza i think you've seen on tv wazee wamekaa huko more than 20 years mtu anakuja hapa anasema aliwekela mtoto anakuwa akigrow anasema aliongozwa na mamake vijana wawili both are 17 years msichana na mvulana walikuwa wapenzi wanaendelea na mapenzi yao vizuri inasemekana kijana mama ya kijana mama ya msichana anasema kijana amedefile product na walikuwa wapenzi kijana anapelekwa jela msichana anawacha na, na, na masomo yake that is total injustice inasaidia kama watu wawili wamefunguliwa wamepatikana wame nile makosa wapelekwe jela wote majority of young men there wamewekelewa utapata kuona hata wazee wakipelekwa huko na hiyo kesi inaitwa defilement of which sai ukitaka tu kunyang'anya shamba ni hiyo kijana kitaka kwa mama kitaka kuadhirisha kijana boy child sasa boy child ana bahati ndani ya Kenya tano baada ya serikali at least ya mend hiyo law 
ndio kama itapatikana mwanamke ako na jama ya kunyang'anya mzee shamba ama gari yake ama mali yake ikipatikana ni e, mzee ni innocent sasa igeuke mwanamke apelekwe jela mzee achiliwe na mali yake kuwe arudishiwe kama ni hawa vijana wawili they are both 18 or 17 kama nikupelekwa jela wapelekwe wote na kama ni kuachiliwa wachiliwe wote ndio kila mtu anaendelea na masomo that is there another thing unapata kuona kuna hizi simu of which I'm cautioning the young people there na watu wako pale simu is a gadget that inaweza kuweka jela maisha yako yote never buy simu ambayo ni ya uh, umeuziwa umeuziwa na mtu tu second hand second hand hii achara nayo just go to the shop buy a new one have your own receipt ucha kuja manake nimeona mtu alienda akaiba simu yeye kuiba simu simu ni ya 30k wakaiba wakaua mtu akakuja aka, akauzia kijana 2000 ah kijana kona hizi simu mzuri kisinikali 2k akainunua yeye kuchukua akapelekea kijana kuchukua akapelekea babake babake anaweka simu card ule mtu naye alaongea simu kumbe matafuta fair ya kutoroka na unajua amefanya kesi kitendo wapi bachakos ah kitui sasa angalia vile macha bala kutrakiwa wanaka serikali imekuwa imekuwa ime, ime sawa simu inapatikana mzee anakuja anachukuliwa mzee kuchukua sasa tena alikuuzia ni huyu kijana kijana sema nini ilikuwa namna gani sasa nimewacha mzee mtoto wake na mfanyikazi wako jela anasema kama namna gani nyingine imepatikana nayo wacha tutafute ile mtu ama mtu yuko wapi atapatikana kweli that's substantial you know substantial evidence sasa wako jela na hukumu yake ni kifo there's this another thing that vijana wa shule wanafanya unapata kuona sijui ni shetani na waingia all of a sudden wanaanza kuchoma kuchoma shule the law states clearly you cannot burn a house that's a government property hiyo naitwa hassling ukichoma nyumba jaja anaeleza na je kungekuwa na mtu anachomeka pale amelala pale unamchoma of which nimewacha mpaka wanafunzi wengine huko mtu amekaa some 18 years wala alichoma shule ya Kambala tulikuwa nao pale hata mwingine amekaa 20 years alitoka juzi eh hey, we with them there umechoma building ya mtu amekuja kama building hii umekuja umechoma unajua umetumia pesa ngapi inasemekana hata inzi hata mende iko kwa nyumba iko na haki yake sasa umeua hiyo hayo sasa wewe unafungwa au utafungwa sana ni maisha sasa maikosho tunaenda kwa vijana ofisi wana wanachoma shule kama ingekuwa serikali maana hata jela sahihi iko na shule eh hey. Manaka hakuna kuongelesha watu kufanya namna gani. Wakipelekwa pale hakuna siku unaweza choma shule unaweza choma jela. You cannot. Manaka hakuna moto hakuna jiko linapatikana ngada ndani ya jela. When he was released from prison, he started an organization to empower other ex-prisoners like him. Sasa tulipotoka pale maisha ikakuja kakuwa at least jela imebadilika. Kuna masomo, kuna shule, kuna industry tumetoka pale tumekuja hapa astia ikakuja katika afkari zangu tukaanza kitu inajita the returning citizens these returning citizens ni wale wafungwa walikuwa ndani wametoka nje wamekuja sasa hapa na wame reform ndio tunajira the returning citizens we are more than even 800,000 prisoners ex prisoners na wengi wale walitoka mbele yetu sasa returning citizens our work I am the president of all the returning citizens in Kenya. Tunakutana, tunaongea vile tunaweza. Maana hakuna kazi serikali inaweza kupatia sasa hivi. Si sifa iliharibika. But lakini tuko na ujuzi. Our work is to eradicate crime in Kenya. That is our main work. Through what? Through sports and through the skills that you have acquired inside there.
mimi najua kutengeneza viti kuna mwingine ni welder kuna mwingine anajua kutengeneza viatu kuna mwingine anajua kutengeneza ma- mashini za kunyoa sasa if a government can come with a structure to pate at least hata kama ni atachaki fund we just want hata government kama ni ama welwisha tupate mahali tu shamba mahali alafu tufunguliwe hapa tutakuwa kianza hii business by that way how are we going to eradicate crime crime kuna huyu kijana yuko pale ambaye yeye kazi yake ni wizi lakini sasa kikuja hapa nimrudishe hii kiti na tengenezagwa hivi hata kama atakuwa nakula 200 kwa siku yake surani ya halali another thing ile pia nataka kama as president of that returning citizen nimechoka kuona vifo za vijana maana kesi kizu kijana kiana kuiba anapigwa chuma ana dead i know it's going to be very much challenging but this is the request i'm making to the well wishers outside there the government in particular everybody who comes across si waka tunatembea au tulitoka tunaenda kama mita zote tunacheza mpira then we tunaanza kuongelesha watu tunaongelesha vijana alafu najua hii election year period hii ndio wizi nafanyika ndio matatizo nafanyika mwingi sasa tunatembea katika mita hata juzi tulikuwa madhare pale tukaandaa mpira and then hapo tunavuta crowd then tunaanza kuongea na wao about crime so unajua ile inaipanda tu ile tulifanya na hatuna kazi sisi hatuna kazi mimi sina kazi maana mwana iko ndani yangu we go back to prison tunakuwa ndio tu pale tukienda prison tunaongelesha pia wale wako jela wakikuja huku kama umerekebika vizuri tunakuwa accommodate kwa hii group yetu we have an office which is running ndio tumeanza tu juzi so tunataka mtu kama anaweza kuja pale welisha atuletee kitu yote ule atatupatia mbao ule atatupatia mashini kama ni randa kama mashini zote za za industry za kutengeneza chuma viti za mlango za anything zile job to be jivuja huko jela we can make our own industry and make employment and eradicate crime in Kenya which is very much possible and by that by now it's working because any time tukienda katika mitaa tukiongea na wase wanasikia ile mambo wala hata kusikia pia so la mwachia nature nature will dictate him sasa si waka tunazunguka hivyo mitaa zote we just play so ile kitu atuma tunavuta through sports maana yake tumekuwa na watu wengi tunataka kuangalia hizi nature hizi talents kama mtu anaweza imba anaweza fanya kitu yote for as long as kijana anaweza fanya kitu yote hata kama mchana ndio then tunakuja tunawafundisha eh, sheria za za crime tuambie wewe ukifanya hivi kifungo yake ni hivi wewe ukipatiana mshahara fulani kifungo yake ni hivi that's what we are doing hata sasa hivi kuna program bado tutakuwa tunaenda kibira kuongea na watu tunakuwa tunaenda kawangware tumeenda hivi nataka katika hii eh, election year period at least tuko tumeingia katika hizi hotspots eh, serikali inasema tutakuwa tumeenda atuchaki mfungwa nimemaliza miaka 20 tena niende tena nimalize miaka ingine 20 rafiki yangu atakuwa aje haitakuwa na sitaki kijana mwingine mimi have wasted my youthful ndani ya jela sitaki kijana mwingine akuja waste youthful yake ndani ya jela kama mimi nataka tu group moja tukienda na ile kitu uliko nayo kijana kama utakubali kuchukua you just take it kitu kingine nataka kuongelea sana na ku condemn ni drugs drugs inatupianisha vijana sana jua kikam mtu akishapiga kuna lego kuna mashukisha uh, kuna, kuna, kuna kuna vichuri ndugu mtaandi tunazita zote hizo vijana wajua mimi naongelea nini kuna madibi wao washapiga hizi vitu ina washoto ni aje mtu anaenda hata kunyonga babake rafiki ya babake yakutu pale anamnyonga hapo saa kumlevi unaona we need to change these people we need to rehab them and to to change them is to tell them the truth the consequences ya hiyo ulevi unafanya ju siku ile utakosa hiyo ulevi unajua mtu ambaye amezoea kutumia hizo vichuri akikosa he can do anything mpaka ipate and that's what 
tunataka kuje tumalize ndani ya Kenya so anyway we wish us there outside there you can be watching this thing whether you are in abroad whether you are in america in germany in austria everywhere you are we have a group called the returning citizens i am the chairman of the president of the returning citizens which means the ex convicts who were convicted from prison have come back to to their country we want to eradicate crime totally in this country we have skills that the skills that you have acquired in prison so i'm appealing to well wishers everyone if you're watching this tv i'm appealing with a solemn heart coming with a lot of humility please come on board and help us we have an office and a group that is moving deeply so the skills that we have acquired we want to teach all the young people outside there who who can make beds who can shoes at every other thing any 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 talent that they used to have we want to change them so that there will be no crime in Kenya and the government outside there please accommodate these people make them the use don't discriminate don't discriminate us but make us a bridge to use and to heal what is happening in in Kenya just use us and anything that is happening in Boni forest anything that is happening in Turkana clashes that are fighting you will have easy time using us as a bridge to go and preach peace to those people because it's only thing maybe ni vizuri peane contact zenu na useme kule ofisi na kuaga for anybody who would want to support you okay we have a moving office my personal contact as the chairman my my phone number is 0712 739 943 I repeat 0712 739 We work closely with the crime sipoa we work closely with the vision for change and we work closely with anybody who comes on, on board to support us that if that call that call that number We don't have a, a specific office because it's, a, it's something that has started. So we are working that that way. Our work is to preach peace outside there and at least to come together. We are many people and we have no where to go. So if you call that number, you can easily reach me and we can talk more. Watazamaji wa Ituge TV, you have heard it all. What a moving story by the president of the uh, returning citizens. That means that it's conflict. It's such a story, such an advice, you can never go wrong. Let's keep supporting these people where we can to reduce crime. For more of this, keep watching, keep subscribing, it's TV, my name is Thank you.